Hey, what's up YouTube? It's your friend Larry. And uh, I guess it's been a long awaited pepper update. Uh, I still gotta transplant a couple of them, like soon. But I'm gonna try to do that tomorrow if I can get some free time. Um, but yeah, I got, I got some pods, man. Actually, quite a few. Um, uh, and I had a few questions, I guess, too. But, I mean, here's uh, what I got, yes. Um, ended up getting some Lowe's buckets because they were cheaper than pots. And, uh, yeah. Need to get them watered here soon. But I guess I'll start down here. I think these were some uh, boots that I got from Todd. And I think they might have crossed with something, dude. Because they're, they're brown as all get out. But they're freaking cool looking. I like uh, I like the fact of having a surprise of a mix of stuff. So that's exciting. I mean, that gum. I know they're about ready to be. They're probably ready to be pulled. I just haven't had the chance to or know where to put them. I guess I need to freeze them for now. And I guess I'm curious as to how big these suckers will get and if freezing's the best option or just start hacking away doing my thing but those were some i believe some assume let me see oh rolling away i'm on my bridge sorry one sec and there's my cat kiki kiki yeah exactly i know i love you too baby yeah those were assumes and i'm guessing they might have mixed with chocolate something because they're brown and they look cool as hell <clears throat> here's some more assumes I guess that's what you call them and uh, hey you can get out of here bug shoo shoo thank you but yeah I mean <coughs> uh, I mean you can see all the red in there so that's awesome these are what are these yellow brain strains there we go and I mean these things are pretty yeah uh, let's see. Sorry about the shady camera work. That one back there looks a little lumpy. So yeah. And uh, here's some uh, J's I got in a pot. Again, apologize for the camera work. The wheelchair on incline, not so great, especially when the brakes aren't working. So you'll just have to deal. Sorry. But I mean, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pods. Plus two, three, uh, whatever. Those are the, are those peach or supposed to be red? Oh, roll away. I don't, let's see. Yeah, peach. Here's some more J's. These, these are supposed to be the red. And we got quite a few in there. I mean, quite a few, man. Kiki, you're gonna have to move, chick. Come on, scoot, scoot. I don't wanna run over your foot. Move, move. Get out of here. Go. Go somewhere. Go catch me a mouse. Get out of here. Here's, uh, see, these ones I think are freaking pretty. Uh, seven pots, I think. I mean, they got that nice little butt on them. They're freaking big, dude. And then there's another one, lumpy as all hell. They look scary. So, yeah, those are neat. What do we have here? I think sunrise, I believe. So, we got few of those in there and over here like I said I need to transplant but I just haven't had it I haven't been home this is like the first actual day day I've been home I really enjoy besides being able to catch up after all the traveling but some more J's and yes they it will be transplanted Caribbean Reds you got one right there oh looks like something got to it oh well that's what I get for waiting that's all right. I'll still open it up, take a gander. But yeah, we got those going. And there's the sunrise again. Here's the red Congos. And the first one I took a bite of, I ate one. And I didn't do it on camera. Glad I didn't. Camera shut off, mouth is on fire. I'm way out of practice. Ha! So yeah, I got a lot of pain in my future. But here's the, I think they're red congas anyway. They got the round shape, kind of flatter. They look neat. They look like a mini pumpkin, except for that one. I don't know what that one farted out, but whatever. Definitely, uh, definitely got some bite. Uh, heavy mouth burn. 
um, heavy mouth burn. Uh, here's Douglas that have started popping out. At least uh, I hope I have all my freaking tags right. Where have they been crossed? Then it's an, a pleasant surprise. Now, here's the question I have, because I have a, like two plants that have this, and I don't know if it's some kind of disease, so this is where you guys help me. Um, because I don't think this is natural color change. It looks so much dirty, and it kind of makes me nervous, because with that, it has this issue with the stem here and here, so any information on that would be greatly appreciated. There's some more down here I'll show you. So if there's any way I can fix it. Yes, some of the leaves are yellow on some of them, I guess because of too much water, maybe, because of rain. These ones are freaking green and some wrinkly, but, I mean, freaking green is all hell. What is this here? Oh, I shouldn't know these. Yellow brains, I guess. I mean, these suckers are big, dude. I mean, big. So yeah, I see a lot of pain in my future. And what is this one? Yellow scorpion, maybe? Scorpion air? Ah, hell. At this point, they all look got their own little twist to it. Oh, there you can hear thunder. More rain are coming. These suckers are dark. These leaves are dark. I think this is red scorpion arrow. Leaves are kind of wrinkly. I don't know if it needs some kind of nutrient or, or what, but I mean, the peppers are dark green. So we'll see what happens there. Butch teas, I believe. They don't have the huge accented tail, but yeah, I mean, a lot of pods. A lot of pods. I think there's some more butch teas, I think. And some of them got the little tail. Uh, let's see, what is this? Yellow seven pops. Um, see, they got that kind of almost dirty look to them too. Almost like it was, the only thing it reminds me of is like the sunburnt. But they've been out here and doing fine all the rest of them. So, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if that makes them unsafe or whatever, but they don't seem to have the the uh, stem issue as the J's over there but again any information y'all have would be very beneficial and helpful for me I think these are the Naga nope nope these are butch teas well yeah you can tell by the little tail there and uh, so yeah well just ripped the leaf off way to go and these are some assumes that cross with something freaking bright orange dude I love that color though. I mean, look at that. You can't tell me that's not freaking pretty. I don't care what the hell it was mixed with or crossed, but that's freaking pretty. I could have a damn spicy salad with this shit. Pardon my language. Whatever. Y'all are adults. You'll get over it. <laughs> uh, this was one I was curious about. It was uh, one I didn't know what it was. It was just, I called it Big Red because I didn't know what the heck it was. But it has some nasty tail on it. Almost like, I guess, similar, would it be a bishop's crown maybe? I mean, it's not a bishop's crown, but I mean, it's got a very set shape almost. Looks sort of bell. Like, I don't even know. I mean, if y'all can see that. I mean, just cool looking. And here's some Jamaican chocolate hobs. That one's about ready to be picked. And these are changing colors. I got a ton of pods on there. Ah, I love it. Oh, this is fun. I mean, it's the first time I've ever really grown anything. And to have this kind of turnout is exciting. I've had my friends and even his wife over, and she's like, this is just freaking cool. Naga Morches. Uh, yeah, those are just pretty. I like those. Those, those are fun. Um, and then here's some Hoblokias. This sucker's been banging out. I mean, this one just drastically in the last, like, two days have, like, multiplied in leaves, leafage or foliage or whatever and maybe it's just because they got more room in the pots but I mean damn you can't even look through this <laughs> scavenger hunt galore but yeah and then you got all these up here that are going to change and then we have what is this red boots which these got quite a few pods on there haven't changed colors yet but yeah oh yeah blue skies over here clouds are coming but I mean, this is this is what I got, y'all. I mean, damn near 30 plants, ton of peppers, some surprises, the orange, the browns over there, and you know, again, if y'all have any uh, answers on this funky, shiny blah shit, that'd be appreciated. 
Um, but yeah, I mean, just a ton of pods, man. So I'm excited. Uh, gonna have to ask the people around about whole sauce making stuff, and then I want to do some uh, try some of the what is it, uh, uh, beef jerky kind of stuff, and. I don't even know. <laughs> I have no idea. So any ideas on that too? Any recipes or things y'all like to try? Throw them out and, you know, like I said, I want to maybe dabble with just home-based sauces. I'm not getting into the business, nothing like that. But just, just dabble around, have some fun. And um, I wouldn't mind doing, uh, what was it? Uh, if you look up T. Mutter's page, he's got a video on peanuts. He used where it's just hot spicy peanuts and whatever and uh, I might have to do that one so check out his stuff too I'll leave that link and stuff in the description uh, I'll give you one last glance boom not too bad for uh, you know my first season I'm pretty proud of myself all in all sure if I'd have been able to give him more, a little more love in the beginning and had more time, I'd have probably had a couple more pots out here. But, you know, this ain't bad for a fir first start. So, all right, y'all. Until next time, I'll see you later. Peace.